English filmmaker, author and painter Derek Jarman was an auteur of British cinema. I never thought of myself as a film director. Born and raised a Londoner, Jarman became involved in theatre at university but aspired to be a painter. In 1968, he was commissioned to create set and costume designs for the Royal Ballet production of Jazz Calendar. His passion for theatrics and a growing list of creative friends led him to enter and win Andrew Logan's Alternative Miss World pageant as Miss Crip Suzette in 1975. Those people who didn't dress up didn't live. You had to. But his growing collection of experimental films soon led on to his big break. My role was that we found community within the filmmaking. Sebastian was his first mainstream film released in 1976. Spoken entirely in Latin, the film tells the story of the martyrdom of gay Saint Sebastian at the hands of Roman soldiers. Filled with homoerotic symbolism, the film includes an infamous celebration of the god Priapus, choreographed and featuring the late Lindsay Kemp. The film Sebastian was a watershed in cultural representations of gay sexuality. Punk anarchist film Jubilee, released in 1978, saw England's Queen Elizabeth I travelling through time and starred new wave musicians Adam Ant and Toya Wilcox. Throughout his life, Jarman fought for equality, campaigning against Section 28, which banned any discussion of homosexuality in schools, and for the equalisation of the age of consent. Oh, bunkum. Caravaggio, released in 1986, became Jarman's most successful film and featured newcomer Tilda Swinton. You're in love with him, fucking rent boy! alongside a very young Dexter Fletcher, who went on to direct 2018's Bohemian Rhapsody and 2019's Elton John biopic Rocket Man. I'm an art object, and very, very expensive. Caravaggio went on to win the Silver Bear Award for Outstanding Single Achievement at the 36th Berlin International Film Festival. Jarman's less mainstream right. works include The Angelic Conversation, voiced by Judy Dench. Oh me. What eyes have love put in my head? And The Last of England, a poetic visual mosaic expressing Jarman's thoughts on the decline of Britain. Being immersed in the subversive political world of London's art scene led to Jarman directing some of the earliest pop videos for MTV, and he accompanied the Pet Shop Boys on tour in 1989. Jarman also authored several books, including his 1984 autobiography Dancing Ledge, as well as volumes of poetry, film scripts, and a treatise on HIV titled At Your Own Risk. He had an extraordinary charisma. His swan song, the aptly named Blue, released just before his death from an AIDS-related illness in 1994, provides a poignant narrative to his life and career. If people did not sometimes do silly things, nothing intelligent would ever get done. Jarman's work continues to be analysed and appreciated today, recognising its depth and revealing the hidden subtleties of British gay life in the latter part of the 20th century.